Magandang araw! Ako si Callie Nebeaha mula sa lungsod ng Pasig. Seventeen years ago, I moved to the Philippines with my sister. My mother wanted us to learn the language and the culture of the country she was born in. And I'll admit, I was terrified. I was ten years old in a new land with no one but my ate to hold my hand. But Pasig opened her heart to me. And this is where I found my home and where my spirit thrived. Though our Filipino spirit was made famous by our national heroes, like Jose Rizal, I've always hoped to inspire people with my words, to use my education for the betterment of all, and to amplify the voices and the stories of the people I've met along the way. And, like Andres Bonifacio, I wanted to work to help others see the power they had in themselves to create change. But there were times in my life that I was told I was too young, too inexperienced, I didn't have the right education, or even that I wasn't pretty enough to change minds. I had, and sometimes continue to have that doubt in myself. But I look at Andres Bonifacio, and I remember that anyone, no matter what their background is, can make a change. But Pasigenos not only hold in our hearts a gratitude for the heroes that uplifted us, but also for the land we call home. The greenery my mother loved so much as a child, I found right here in the middle of our bustling city. Even as a child, I loved running around and playing outside with all of my friends. Even as I entered adulthood, playing football outside was how I learned to connect with my community and with nature. Because every Pasigeno has a goal to forge their own path. People come to our city from all over the Philippines because they have a dream of transformation and making their voice heard. But a few years ago, I didn't think my voice mattered. I was silenced, told I wasn't enough, and I thought I would never survive. I was a victim of violence, and I thought that's all I would ever be. But now, I am a survivor, taking steps to reclaim my strength and remind myself that I am enough and that every single step I take is a step towards healing. And unfortunately, my experience is one of many. Women and all people who are more likely to be silenced or demeaned because of their gender need safe spaces and people to share their story and know that their voices are valid. Here at the Gender and Development Complex of Basic City is Bahay Aruka, a space for women to heal, offering them temporary shelter, consultations, and allowing them to just move forward. It serves as a reminder to all of us that we are part of a larger change to ensure that women and all people who feel they have been demeaned or unheard feel strong enough to fully contribute to our city, our country, and our future. And we all have a role to play in making that change and to remind everyone that our dreams and the future we hope for our country is in our hands. It is the people themselves that are overflowing with the hope we have for our entire nation. Dahil sa Pasig, umaagos ang pag-asa. Ako si Callie Nevea Huff, proud Pasigeno, proud Filipino.